Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I go about setting up my embroidery for sweaters. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start with the digitizing phase. All right, let's take it over to Wilcom. This is a real popular custom design right now. So it's the month, the day, and the year in Roman numerals. This is a special date sweater, perfect for birthdays, anniversary dates, or any type of memorable date. I'll put this embroidery design file as a free download. You just have to copy and paste the numbers to match your own custom date. Let's look at some of the items that we're going to use. I have, of course, my Mighty Hoops. These are the 8 by 13. Okay, one of the most useful hoops for sweaters. Before we start, let's go ahead and let's cut our cutaway. The way I cut my cutaway, I want to use the size of the hoop. Okay, and then these lines, they're kind of see-through. So I can see my lines here. All right, I'm going to use my rotary cutter. All right, one of the most useful tool for cutting backing. Here are my line here. I'm just going to use this number 20 as a reference and just cut all the way down. All right, so now this is the sweater that I'm going to embroider on. So this is a Gildan Heavyweight Blend sweater. All right, so a lot of people, they're familiar with this sweater. Okay, so right now what I want to do, I want to go ahead and center my sweater. Okay, now this is the thing, okay? Everybody's different. Everybody does things differently. Okay, I have to, okay, when I'm doing sweaters or anything down the center, I have to get it 100% down the center. Now, the problem is a lot of times these sweaters, they're not really constructed 100% even. It's not like you, could, you can always cut it down the middle and it's always going to be even. So you already know I have my centering ruler. Okay, very useful for situations like this. Okay, you could cut, you could fold it in half. You're gonna get a perfect center, or you can do it this way and get a even more center. Okay, so by eyeballing it, I know that my center's right here. Okay, so where this hood kind of folds in half. All right, so you want to use this as a guide and just confirm. So on here, on the left side, should be even with the right side. All right, so I'll make a mark on the top and on the bottom of my ruler. Okay, and then I'll bring it down one bit and confirm again here. Okay, so I'm right here, even. Okay, now with these lines, okay, with these lines, I could just draw right down the center. So in reality, you could just make a dot and follow that dot all the way through, all right? But for some reason, I have to be a thousand percent sure that my lines are straight. So this stuff easily comes off. So with a tie pen, uh, this is water soluble chalk, okay? It's just a guide. Just so when I'm hooping items, I'm not second guessing myself is something straight or not. Okay, so I have the Mighty Hoop Station. So anything shirt-wise, sweater-wise, okay, this makes life a whole lot easier. So I'm definitely going to use this. And I'm also gonna use some accessories that just makes life a whole lot easier. I'm gonna use the adjustable brackets. So before I put this top one, I'm gonna add another useful accessory, okay? And this is just the extender. This is the station extender. So this just opens up the, the, the shoulders but we can still use all the accessories put this on and pick it up one more okay so you're just saving time on your setup okay so once that's set up I'm gonna line this up tighten it up from the bottom all right so we have our cutaway that we just cut Okay, that should fit perfectly here. All right, and it snaps into place. So you don't have to hold anything. You don't have to do anything fancy. 
All right, now we get our sweater. And I'm telling you, when you're doing a job and you get into a flow, okay, all this is just coming like second nature. All right, so since we're using the extender, it just extends the, the shoulders a little bit. It gives me just a whole lot better view that I'm straight. This line that I created, I just want to line it up with this line here. And I want to make sure my shoulders are straight here. I want it to be up here, all right? So I kind of put a mark there to let me know. That's kind of like the, the top portion of where these letters are gonna be. All right, so let's go ahead and let's stitch this up. The way I'm going to insert it is from the waistband in, all right? Because I do not want to put it in through my hood because I don't want it to uh, lose registration when it goes uh, a little wide. All right, so really, this is how you want to do your uh, your your sweatshirts. Bam, you hear that click? That means we're locked in. Okay, the reason why you don't want to use it through your, uh, install it through the neck, is because if once you start going wide, you might lose registration, because, I mean, this hole is only so big. All right, so with the waistband, the only thing when we, the only thing with the waistband, you want to make sure all this, there's, it's not going to bunch up with anything here, okay? You want to give some space back here. All right, same thing with back here. You want to make sure you get some good space so nothing gets stuck while we're embroidering. So let me show you an alternative just in case you're doing a smaller tight sweaters or shirts okay for kids you can also use this one the eight by nine hoop okay so it, it actually works perfect with this one too all right so you you same process okay we're gonna we're gonna put the cutaway here okay i didn't i didn't center this sweater right now just because after after you do it a couple times okay you're pretty much centering it, right? Just by looking at it. So I could already know that I'm good. There's only one thing I wanna mark is like my, the top of my line. So I wanna be kinda just down, let's see. Uh, two, two and a half fingers, kind of, all right? So I wanna be kinda like right here. So that's all I'm gonna do is mark that part here. Okay, I know I'm centered. And I could just put a eyeball center line. All right. That's just a quick eyeball center line that I'm good. Okay, once you're confident that your shoulders are straight, we grab our hoop and I'm gonna do the same process. I want to insert the sweater through the waistband. I do not like inserting the sweater through the neck because as you can see, it could start shifting and you get registration problems. So once we got that, just make sure everything is nice and flat. Then bam, bam. Okay, good to go. All right, so this is the top. I wanna be right below this mark here. And this is my center line. So I'm gonna take it to the machine and then we'll, we'll embroider it. All right, let's check the final stitch out. Okay, so this is the sweater here, the kid sweater. So it's looking sharp. All right, so all we gotta do now with the tie pin, I'm gonna clean out these lines right here. All right, that's very simple. All right, as you can see, so uh, hoop wise, as you can see the eight by 13, it gives you more options if you wanna add something else. If you wanna add like a logo, um, with any of the writing okay, makes it a whole lot easier to do it or we could just do text wise here all right so this is kind of perfect for a very subtle simple design on a sweater okay now this one here the eight by nine 
All right, so it kind of comes in a little bit and you still have space down here in case you want to add some other stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this up. I'll take a couple pictures of these sweaters and then I'll post it on our Instagram. So you can follow us on Instagram on Romero Threads. Okay, I'll put the link down below. I'll try to go ahead and put as much information in the description. But if there's anything that I missed or any information that I kind of skipped, just uh, leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to answer any questions. All right, so thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.